Good afternoon, everybody. Matrix here. It's February 19th, uh, 4 p.m. The market just closed. And here is a very quick trade recap of the two trades I took on Roku today. I had a green day. Uh, but before I start and get into that, I want to mention that I did capture this whole morning uh, in the live trade. And uh, that video is in archive right now. And if you want to see me make this trade in live real time, um, think uh, while I talk about my emotions and my thinking behind the trades um, in real time, then uh, make sure you hit that like button. Once I get 100 likes on this video, I will launch that video. All right. So bringing in my PL real quick, um, which doesn't really matter, but just to show for the sake of transparency, I am green on two trades on a day. Traded 10 tickets, only 500 shares, almost 100 bucks. All right. And here are my live executions. I will go through with them. I'll bring that out of the window. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about Roku. So Roku yesterday on my watch list, this ticker was on my watch list, and I was looking for uh, <clears throat> for another run into uh, the earnings that we will have in a few days. And I talked about my thesis on where support is or where the stock should bounce and everything. Um, so if you haven't watched my watch list and my plan last night, you can go through that along with some other tickers that I mentioned. Uh, for example, Canada Goose, GOS, I talked about uh, yesterday how it could bounce and run from the 50s here. And my target was 52. So obviously, I missed this trade while I was preoccupied with Roku this morning. Just going to really quickly load up the drawings and my trades here. <clears throat> on Roku and let's get on with it. Okay, so as I'm trading today, uh, uh, during my live screen recording, uh, I did uh, plot these lines on the fly as I'm trading, but this is the finished material, right? Um, as you can see, I have a lot of support and resistance areas, uh, interim, uh, different color coded as well. Uh, let's get into the first trade. I basically took Roku for a long today. And to be quite honest, after studying this trade, I think I can. Uh, there is a lot of stuff I can do better as well. Um, right out of the gates, as I see uh, Roku basically gapped up, right? Gapped up pre-market right here. And then right out of the gates, it uh, dumped a little bit for profit take. And it held a key support level, which I've quick very quickly recognized so i hit it twice uh with two tiers i i build into my position i saw a nice support area here so i hit it once here at um 52.57 and i hit another 100 shares here at 52.49 bringing my average down to 52.53 right here as you can see on the screen Okay, so that was my long average. I was in with two tiers, uh, 200 shares. And as the stock was coming up, I sold a quarter of a tier, so 50 shares here. And as it was coming up some more, I sold another uh, quarter right here. So that would leave me uh, 100 shares left. And then on this candle, when it popped, I sold, uh, this candle opened and it dropped. And then it started popping. And I saw how it was uh, very indecisive, so I sold a little bit more, okay? From there, I was holding about 50 shares. Now, with that happening, as we go through, uh, I was holding this last 50 shares, and I was holding this uh, through this consolidation area. I marked this uh, interim support level, and this thing ripped again. Um, it reached about... 53.50 where I took another half off because I had to sit through all this consolidation. It finally popped through. So I took a half off. It got a little bit extended to, for my liking and I paid myself some more. And then from here, it was very overextended uh, from the open here. And uh, I, I very, very slightly glanced over at my PL and this is when my emotions kicked in and I wanted to lock in gains and my mind took over to to wanting to protect me but didn't really protect me instead of harming harming me instead on this trade. 
and I took it off. Um, basically, from here, the stock opened right here at 53.70. It dropped a little bit, and I took the whole trade off because I saw that I did make a whole point from the trade. My average was around the 53, uh, 52 50s, and I took it all the way up here, selling it my final piece off at 53.66. Now, of course, in hindsight, and after I sold it, this stock kept running and it ran to the 55s. Okay, and I was watching it, how much money I left on the table and I was uh, pretty sad about that. Um, looking back at it, I mean, definitely I could manage this trade air uh, a little better. And even from here in the morning where I started piecing it out, this is kind of signs of like uh, hesitation and fear as well. So this is one thing I'm working on to uh, uh, overcome my mind, uh, being able to hold the trade a little longer because I really didn't have to pay myself until 53 with my first piece out, right? And then uh, when it bounced off VWAP, this was a pretty key confirmation. Okay, so uh, as the stock came out, uh, I paid myself here. Oh, no, as the stock came up uh, and it was uh, very overextended, it hit the 54.50s area and then it started this topping action, right? So I'm going to get this arrow out of the way real quick and zoom in. <clears throat> it started this topping action around the 54.50s, right? I saw the seller's candle and then I saw it make very subtle lower highs. So I shorted it, risking a little bit above uh, the prior high, okay, at the 5470s, 5465s area. I shorted uh, 50 shares just to test the waters. Um, the idea was to, uh, if it failed 54, I would add into it. Or if it failed 54, pop back up and reject, I would add into it. So it started failing. I paid myself half here. And then it started coming back up and I held the other half up until uh, it reaches my stop area right here. Let me run that across. And I basically stopped out right here, making this a scratch trade. All right. Uh, 50 shares in and out, scratch trade, 75 cents. So I lost about three bucks on commissions there. No big deal at all. It was just a water tester. Um, overall, the chart did look very bullish. And um, this topping out didn't really make sense. It's just a pullback, but a very long pullback in my opinion. So I was watching the stock again and it got to the 55 area right here and where it started topping out. Now from here, this is around the 11 o'clock area. I had an appointment at noon, so I had to get ready. And uh, basically, um, I was looking at this chart and I was thinking, okay, backside is coming in, right? Uh, notice I did put an arrow here for this massive volume. The, my thinking behind it was uh, this candle with the massive volume is volume buyer's exhaustion topping out here at the 5520s area, okay? And then uh, it popped and then it started dropping. And from here, once it failed the 55, it just went downhill ever since. So this in turn, by hindsight, I mean, it gave me a really good signal at least to start here or if not, uh, start here, right? And then, uh, but the, the thing is I didn't and um, that is what it is. Um, looking at the chart overall, I mean, this candle was very significant, this volume here, marking off the highs here at uh, 5520s. This is where my red line is. So. This was a pretty definite high in my opinion. And when it first formed its first uh, lower high over here at this area near the 55, this is where I should have shorted risking the highs, right? A very uh, determined high here. So um, let's scroll out a little bit and look at what the chart did. From there, the stock just slowly faded all day back and uh, given up most of its gains. And right now it closed at what 53.25. So yeah, that's basically it for my recap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and like button, share, and uh, 
check out my video links description remember i did record this trade live so i have that video in archive if once i get 100 likes on this video i will launch that live trading video so uh, keep that in mind make sure you hit the likes button thanks for watching and i'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow ciao